InfoWater Pro 2023.2 introduces features to help support hydraulic diagnostics uh, where simulations struggle to converge. In order to access these features, you can find from the Run Manager, open the Report Options, and make sure that Model Diagnostics is on. By default, it will be set to Auto, which will follow whichever you set with hydraulic status. So when you're calibrating or debugging models, make sure you set hydraulic status to Full, then your diagnostics will be on. It'll also stay on if you're on Yes, but it will turn off if you're on Status and No. If you forget that, you can check the Help file. So now, with that on, when I click Run, if I open the report, we now put the simulation report in a web browser so that we can lay in a new summary section uh, using HTML, uh, supporting some basic metrics about my model. Right now, this model is very simple and fast. There's also a table that will tell you about the number of um, switches that certain control objects might be taking, and that could be helpful. One feature to support that is from the message board, we have a new tab called Hydraulic Diagnostics. And this will tell you which objects have status changes and how many. Now, if I were to do something to this model to make it a little bit less stable, uh, sometimes at PRV stations, you can have multiple PRVs, possibly of slightly different sizes. Now, these two PRVs are difference of 5 PSI, which is you know, recommended so that they're not too close so you don't get valve hunting. But let's just see how this particular model runs with those two valves at that setting. So in this case, this model does not like those two valves uh, running uh, that, that close together. And you can see it in these status changes that this, this valve is, um, has a number of status changes. You can sort this table, and you can also double click to zoom to any object. And you can see other PRV stations with multiple PRVs in, in alignment. This can also be helpful. It will show you uh, pipes that are connected to tanks that can open and close as tanks um, reach, uh, reach full or empty, and so on. So just remember those tools can help you when you're debugging uh, engine simulations.